Hey guys, I'm Abhishek. I'm a full stack developer and in this video we're going to go over the full stack developer roadmap which will help you to learn the MERN stack and become a full stack developer yourself. So let's get started. Alright, before you actually get started with web development, there are a certain skills that you will need to learn. These include operating the command line in Linux because a lot of the dev tools that you will be using and while development itself, you'll be using the command line a lot. So it definitely helps you to learn the command line interface in Linux and learn a few basic commands and more importantly, you need to learn Git so that you are able to collaborate with other people because as a full stack developer, you will be making websites and web apps not by yourself, but in a team of other developers as well. So you will need to learn how to use a version control system such as Git and create a GitHub account and get familiarized with the GitHub commands. And I think that should be good enough to get you started. All right, once you're comfortable with the command line interface in Linux, you will get started and actually start using HTML to build websites. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is a language, which is a markup language, not really a programming language, but it is used to build the website, right? All the content that you see on any website is basically written with HTML. So we eventually will learn how to generate this HTML using our frameworks. But initially you will learn how to actually write this HTML yourself. You know, there are certain tags, there'll be an HTML tag, then there'll be a head and a body. And within the head, you will have tags like title and other meta tags. Within your body, you will have the content, which will include all your images and text and videos. Everything that you see on any website, there's definitely an HTML tag for it and it is rendered using an HTML tag. So it is very fundamental to web development that you learn HTML and start building websites. They will not look very good because HTML is just for the content. For styling it and for making it look good, you will learn something called CSS or cascading style sheets. So cascading style sheets is the style framework for HTML so that you can use CSS to style your HTML data, right? So when you render your data with HTML, everything will be rendered as a plain text and, you know, tables and very basic kind of a website, but you will use CSS to make it look beautiful and to add your design stuff. And then you will be able to use CSS to add your designs and make it look beautiful, use better fonts, better colors, change the background colors, add shadows and stuff like that. CSS is a vast subject, so definitely you need to get started with CSS and you will learn about the basic CSS properties, CSS selectors and stuff like that. It will help you to take your basic HTML website to the next level with some, with some custom styling and making it look really good. So once you have actually learned HTML and CSS and you're able to make basic websites, static websites using HTML and CSS, you will see how sometimes you need some interaction on your website. For example, a user clicks on a button, you want something else to happen on the, on the click of that button, right? All this behavior, all these changes and all the dynamic aspects to a website can be added using JavaScript. So then you will have to learn JavaScript. And the reason we picked JavaScript is because it's a very versatile language and it's used everywhere in all web browsers. And it's a universal programming language for the web. So definitely learning JavaScript is going to give you an edge, not only for the front end, but also for the back end side of things, right? You can get started with learning JavaScript JavaScript by reading the JavaScript documentation you on Mozilla Developer Network and it would really help you to get started with the JavaScript, learning the syntax of it and learning how to write functions and invoke functions and stuff like that. And get yourself familiarized with JavaScript, right? Once you are very comfortable with JavaScript, learn the core JavaScript fundamentals. And that's very important, right? You have to have a strong grip over JavaScript if you want to be a good full stack developer because you're going to use it not only on the front end, but on the back end as well. So getting familiarized with the core fundamentals of JavaScript is going to help you. So you need to spend some time doing that. And when you feel comfortable making websites and having some interactions in them using plain JavaScript, it's also called vanilla JavaScript. You will then eventually pick a framework like React or Vue or Angular or something like that. I see a lot of beginners in web development start to you know learn their web development journey with the framework like react i think that's not the right way to do it you need to actually spend some time getting familiar with javascript learning the dom you need to learn how to use javascript to manipulate the dom and to really understand what react or angular does behind the hood right so i think it's very important to learn javascript before you jump onto a framework like react and after that you can really pick any framework once you're comfortable with javascript you will be able to pick any one of the plethora of frameworks available online. React is my personal favorite, so I would suggest you pick up React. And it's definitely the most widely used framework at this point. Almost every company, every website, every good web app that you use makes use of React in their web app, right? So uh, React is a very good place to start. You can get started by reading React documentation on the Facebook GitHub website, and that will take you, and there are tutorials and quick start guides on that website, so you'll be able to learn React. 
and you can also find a lot of tutorials online and uh, there are plethora of resources online to learn react but really what you're trying to do is understand react enough to be able to build projects which is the most important thing right in order to build websites you start building websites with html and css those are your projects at that point then you start more projects using html css and javascript eventually you start using react in those projects your projects will grow bigger and more complicated and have more features and more functionality in them so uh, so the key to become a good software developer in general is to build more and more projects so you actually know how to use what you have learned the concepts that you have learned in order to build an actual application that people can see and interact with so build as many projects as you can so once you've done with react i think it's a good way to become a front end developer you've learned a lot of stuff a lot of technologies and you bring them all together and that is the role of a front end developer right but to become a full stack developer you also need to know the back end you need to be able to set up a server hook up with the database and actually build an application end to end so that whatever actions your user take on your front end you're able to persist them in the database and you know back and forth save the data retrieve it and all those kinds of things you need to know back end for this and for back end good for you since you've already learned javascript it's going to give you an edge so that you can pick up node js for the back end right there are many other languages that you can build backends with using java python rust go and stuff like that but since you have already learned javascript it makes sense to use javascript on the server side since you can do that with node js node js is basically just javascript for the server side and using node js and a framework like express you can build real servers and you can start building apis and stuff like that definitely read about api and api is an application programming interface which is just a fancy term to denote a way to access a server's resources right it just gives you an interface that hey you go to this link and you pass in this data and then i will respond back with certain other data that you have requested right so that's an api and that's the most basic definition i could think of for an api but basically you're trying to build a server right your back end server that can read your data from the database and return it to the front end depending on what's requested so you will use node js and express to start building the back end uh, for your projects and you can find a lot of these projects on cryo and cryo has a very good set of resources for back end and front end and overall full stack development so you will learn of, uh, you will try to build more apis and more servers using node js and express which will get you to a comfortable state in building websites and back ends and you will combine all that to build real applications you can start small with very basic applications like a note taking application or a to do list right where you are creating data you're saving data and you're retrieving it you're updating it deleting it it's basically called crud so you'll build a lot of crud apis and then you'll hook them up with your front end and and build entire web applications and build a few of these projects you know full stack projects and then you are ready to be a full stack developer right and then you can actually start looking for jobs or build your own product and you know go wild with your ideas and i think that's that's probably it so I know I mentioned a lot of things on this short video but you get started at one point and you just keep going learn more and more things as you go right because sometimes you're just building a feature I I tend to learn new things every day even now right so when you want to build a new feature it might involve some technology that you have never heard of but you will have to learn that so you will get used to the process of learning new stuff and building projects is the best way to do that because every project will demand something new some little thing that you need to learn again on top of what you have already learned to make that feature work so i think that's the way to learn as a full stack developer but this whole road map i think you can cover it in a few months and you will be ready to become a full stack developer and then keep learning from there right and the learning never stops so yeah i think that's it for this video if you like this one smash that like button leave a comment down below if you have any other questions and do check out cryo there are plenty of solid projects that you can do on cryo.do the link is in the description so yeah i think that's it thanks for watching